that's why you don't mess with cats. Thank you, Mike. I'm here with Vasco de Gamos in our studios of New York City. So when were you born? In 1460. That was a dreaded year. So, I've heard you sailed for King Manuel, the Cape of Good Hope. I shouldn't have that. He was a nasty man. Why did you sail the Cape of Good Hope? To find a new route to India. So, when do you think you're going to die? Um, 1524. At what age? 55. And I think I'm going to die in India. Just a guess. Not really sure. So there's a rumor that your dad was an explorer too. Yes, that's true. So where were you born? In Lisbon, Portugal. I hated that town. You were married to Katerina? Worst choice of your life. Now you tell me. So many crewmen died on the solo raffle when the solo raffle burned down. Yeah, I'm so glad I was not on that ship. I heard you did show up at did did not show up at the same time as the other ships. Because your ship got stuck because your ship got stuck in the storm. Yeah, I was so glad when I when we got back I could just smell the flowers and not smell the sea and see the trees instead of that stupid sea. Great story. Now get out of here and bring in the ass. Hey Diaz, we just got ta ta done talking to Vasco de Gama. Do you know him? Maybe your friend? Oh yes, we were the best friends. We had good times. But it stinks that Vasco da Gama and I did not go on the same expedition, but we must have gone some to the same place. Yeah, that must have stunk. So you're sent by King John the Second. Pretty good. Yeah, that King John the Second was interested in finding new routes all the time. He was also a jerk some of the time. Like you just said, he loved new routes, especially trying to find new ways to get to India safely, I heard. Don't get me started with that. There was another expedition I went on, which, to the, which was to Brazil. Very interesting. Now back to the story of Cape of Good Hope. You must have gone through two oceans to get there. I forgot which ones. We started at the Atlantic, which had smooth sailing. Then we got to the Indian Ocean, it, which was dreadful. I just read that you had slaves on your ship, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Well, oh, jeez, I did that wrong. I just read that you had slaves on your ship, too. You mean jerk! Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I needed workers, and everyone had slaves back then. Halfway there, it, is that when you went through the Cape of Good Hope? Yeah, that's pretty much true, but I call it Cape of Storms because the sea were... The seas were so rough. So why did you have a different... So why does it have a different name today? Well, like I said before, the king gets grouchy and calls the shots. So he changes the name of the Cape of Good Hope. I guess he thought the Cape should have, better, should have a better name. Did you make it to India on that first voyage? Well, we made it 
to the Indian Ocean, but my wimpy crew members were afraid to go on and demanded we go back. So how many trips did you take to you to get to India? We got to India on the second trip. It sure was worth it to King John because it saved a lot of time and money. Crossing on island was da- on land was dangerous and you had to pay people to cross their countries. So, so where were you, so were your wife and two children worried about your you when you went to the, on these voyages? I was I was there so I, I am I was not I was not there so I am not sure if they were worried. I bet they were because I was gone for three years. Well let's get back to you you going to South America. How did that happen? I was one of the first Portuguese men to see Brazil. But I thought it was an island. But that's another story for another day. Thanks, thanks, Diaz. Back to you, Mike.